work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hello artists and welcome to making a squish print butterfly. This is super fun and we're going to break it down nice and easy. Um, we're going to even have our little drawing so all we have to do when we're squish printing is tracing with paint and letting the magic happen. But first, what exactly is a squish print? We have our paper, you're going to fold it in half just like this. It's going to look like a book. Make sure you give it a really nice good crease because that's going to be key to keeping our paper and our image in line and open it back up. We're gonna be first drawing, and then we're gonna take paint to trace over our lines, close our book, knuckle rub it, give it a nice massage, so that way the paint can transfer from this side to the other side of the paper, reflecting our image, creating a nice symmetrical drawing that is the same on both sides. This is a super fun process, and I'm excited to begin with you. So, for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to be using a pencil to trace the crease of my paper so you can see it nice and clearly. You do not need to do this step. This is only so you can see it on the screen. I'll be drawing with a black Sharpie marker so once again you can see things nice and clearly. But you would probably want to use a pencil for the drawing portion. Let's begin. Alright, so I'm going to start with the top of my head. And I'm just going to make a nice half circle. Doesn't need to be super big, doesn't need to be super small. It's going to be the head of our butterfly. Then I'm going to, from that point, make a nice curve, leaving some space at the bottom. And I made my body a little wide. It's going to be the same thing on the other side. And that's okay. That's the beauty of this. All butterflies can be different. Now let's do our wings. Our wings are going to come off the top of the body. I want you to think about heading towards the corner of your paper, but give it a little bit of a curve. There you go. Keep that curve going and head down, kind of towards the middle of your body, just a little bit like this. And if you want to add some curved edges, totally cool. Butterflies have a lot of unique edges. I'm going to bring that line back. Again, keeping my lines nice and curvy. Butterflies are curvy, they're pretty. And I'm gonna come back to the outside here again, this point, and I'm gonna curve just a little. I'm gonna come down and back up towards the body. Beautiful work so far, artists. Let's go and add some more details to the head. We're kind of working um, in a circular motion on our butterfly. I'm going to now add a little antenna. This does not need to be super detailed. When we add paint, the paint will thicken our lines and really make it look like an awesome painting. This is just a guide so you know where to put the paint. Next, we're gonna fill in some of the details of our wings, kind of moving around the outside. So I am going to just take a line from the body and follow the curve of the wings and I'm going to continue all the way around just like so. Very, very pretty. Let's make our butterfly have some unique characteristics in the wing. We're going to start with in the center of this shape right here, the top wing. I'm going to draw a line, I'm going to curve up towards the corner, center up towards the corner and from there you can add different curved lines branching off of that, similar to like a leaf. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom, okay? And once again, don't worry if yours is perfect or not. All butterflies are unique and that's what's going to make yours special. From the center, right here, this bottom shape, you're going to come center, curve down to the bottom, and then once again, it has some cool branches that make your butterfly unique. They can come from anywhere off of that um, line and kind of stem out. Alrighty, we have just completed our butterfly outline. Let's go into making a squish print now. So with our paint and a paintbrush, we're going to dip into the paint. 
And we're gonna trace our line starting at the head. And I'm only gonna apply paint at the top. Now you don't want too much paint. So what I like to do is I like to stroke my line about three times to kind of smooth it over. I'm gonna also do my little antenna. One, two, three. And let's stroke the body. Come all the way down, showing nice control. And I like to go back up and back down, up and down with the paint. We're gonna pause here and I want you to fold your paper in half. Press it down real gentle and you're gonna give it something called the knuckle rub. Take your hand in a fist and gently rub your knuckles on the paper in a circular motion. Make small circles. There we go. And put a little pressure on the paper, okay artists? You'll know you're pressing too hard if your knuckles start to hurt, okay? And we are gonna apply pressure where we just put paint. Open it back up. Now this is the beauty, this is the magic of the squish print. And voila, whatever was painted on this side has transferred to the other side. Now, you can see in some areas, there wasn't paint that transferred. What happened is, and I want you to think about it, the paint dried, or I need to put more paint, and it couldn't quite transfer. So if that happens to you at any point, you're gonna apply paint only to the left side. And refold, squish, and knuckle rub. The reason we apply paint only to the left side is so that way it's the same. If we do it over here, it's gonna mess up the side and oof, we can do it. The goal of this project is to have similar sides. Now I could use a little more paint and I could keep going and adding more until I fill it in however you like it or until you desire. But let's continue on with our butterfly. I'm gonna take some paint. I'm gonna start with the outside wing. Here you go, I'm gonna come around. And really you could pick any line you'd like. Go back and add more paint. Just be a little careful artist when you get towards the edge because when we squish our print, the paint is forced to kind of spread out. It's like a sandwich, okay? So I just be a little extra cautious and a little extra careful. Okay, and voila. I obviously need a little more paint yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep tracing my lines and the goal is we only do small sections at once, okay? So I like to do just about a line here and a line there. That way the paint won't dry on me so quickly and I'm ensuring I'm doing a very good job. There we go. All right. And let's go around the outside. Here we go. Much better. Let's continue on. I'm gonna do some of the inside lines next. Remember, we're doing small sections at a time, folding and knuckle rub it real nice and gentle. So enough pressure to transfer that paint over. This is why it's called a squish print. We're literally squishing the paint and revealing it so it transfers to the other side. This is becoming a very beautiful butterfly. I'm gonna continue it with the bottom. I definitely need to go over those lines again. They're feeling a little dry. Here we go. Woo, 
looking good artists now just a side note too remember do not keep your book closed because it will dry shut so make sure you're always finishing with your book open i'm going to go back and i can touch up some of these lines here i can see right over here so it's going to be right here I'll show you what i mean by that there we go oh much better i definitely need to go more towards the top here Beautiful. I'm gonna to touch up these lines, and then here's what we're gonna do next in our project. We're gonna allow our squish print to dry, and then I'm gonna show you some really cool techniques that you can give shading and really cool coloring to your project using crayon. And then we are also can cut it out. If you don't like some of these edges, like right over here, I have these bubble looking things. I can just simply cut it out and it looks really, really great. Awesome, so let's let our squish prints dry. I'm gonna touch up some of my edges doing the touch up method, and I'll see you back here soon. All right, in this step of our butterfly, we're gonna be using crayons to make our butterfly look more 3D, give variation of color, and add a little texture. For my colors, I have black, white, which is gonna be a very important color for adding highlights later on, yellow orange brown and a bright red you don't have to use these colors you can use whatever colors you like for your butterfly these are just for an example we're going to start out um let's start with like my more plain or neutral color which is brown and you can color whatever parts of the butterfly you like and i always start with let's say if you have a center part of the butterfly i'm going to show you a little trick to give it shadows okay Shadows on your butterfly are the darker areas where the light doesn't always touch, okay? So I, we also wanna make something look more 3D. So my hand is full of shadows. On the edge, there's some darker areas, you know, versus on the tops of my knuckles where the light can really touch it. And my ring, that's where the light is most intense. And having shadows make up a form gives it more 3D effect, okay? Here we go, we're gonna color it. I'm gonna start really, really intense, so nice and dark, putting a lot of pressure towards the outside of the shape and getting lighter and less pressure as we get towards the inside. Okay, it's gonna make it look really, really cool. I'll do this shape with the normal, like, full color, and you can kind of see the difference how this shape looks more 3D versus that, just kind of looks like filled in. All right, from here, you can color the wings of your butterflies however you'd like. I'm gonna do yellow next. And just color in these shapes however you see fit. Keeping that in mind, that's just a good technique that I use, you don't have to use that though. go now when you color in your butterfly boys and girls you want to do a very good job watching the direction of your strokes and making sure you fill in that space with a nice solid color because neat coloring is what gonna make your squish print look awesome you may have a nicely printed butterfly but if it's not nicely colored oof that will really you know I don't know, I just think everybody could do a little bit better. So, using this as an example, look at how nice this looks already. There we go. The crayons are enhancing the shapes of the butterfly, so it's really important we get those right. Also, when we color with a crayon, we, I chose crayon because crayons have an amazing texture to them. They're made of wax, and they make it a little bumpy or fuzzy on the paper surface because it brings out those characteristics. Our butterflies have that kind of soft texture to them if you ever hold a butterfly. So we are emphasizing that in our artwork today. Here we go. All 
I'm gonna color the rest of my butterfly shapes and I'm gonna speed up the video, so I'll see you back here soon. Okay, so here I kind of colored my butterfly. I left some spaces not colored so I, you know, I can use the color of the paper as well. We're gonna go on to my favorite, favorite part of squish printing and adding the color is when we have our white marker and we're gonna add our highlights. Remember the highlights are like the very, very brightest part that emphasize where the light touches the object or the subject, okay? So with my white crayon, in squish printing, I like to emphasize certain shapes. So I really like to emphasize maybe the shape of the, the butterfly's body, how the head separates from the wings. I'm using the squish print, um, just the characteristics of the paint. I'm picking out certain things I really, really like. Maybe I like how this branch is off here, down here. And it doesn't have to be the exact same on both sides because light hits everything a little bit differently. I like how this wing kind of comes above this one over here and this branches. We're just adding little lines around the outside or inside of the black paint. I like how this kind of comes around here, giving it a total difference from when we started.
there we go and you can add as much of this as you want i think it makes it look really really cool personally i like this little bump here all right you could even add eyes to your butterfly i'm gonna enhance them and make them a little yellow there we go and now for the last step is to cut out your butterfly this is the point where if there is, you know, something you didn't like about the shape, you can kind of adjust it. Like for example, I didn't really like how that winged out right there slightly, so I'm just gonna cut through it and make it nice and straight. But you have to remember, we want this body or this form symmetrical. So what you do on one side, you gotta do on the other. Also when you're cutting, there's gonna be areas where there's not a lot of paint, like right here. You can choose whether I'm gonna cut on the outside or the inside, okay? I'm gonna cut on the outside for this one so that way it's the same as the other side. Alrighty, thanks for joining me in creating uh, Butterfly Squish Prints. I'm excited to see yours. I'm gonna finish cutting out mine. All right, bye.